Each day at the office is filled with appointments, decisions, and other business activity. Many times, certain days stand out in your memory. This is the story of one such day and a meeting that was unexpected. I work at the General Electric plant in West Philadelphia. I feel some pride that our plant is the largest in the world devoted entirely to the manufacture of switchgear. Most days begin the same way. You get in at a certain time, check on some routine matters, and then down to business. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Well, it's arrived. What is it? The model. Well, let's take a look at it. Well, it may not be exactly what you wanted. Well, we'll soon find out. Hello? Yes, Tom. But his appointment isn't until next week. Okay. Yes, I'll be glad to see him. Thanks, Tom. Goodbye. We're going to have a visit from our Looks friend... Looks like the real thing. Complete setup. Stationary unit. Removable circuit breaker. Wish I had more time to look it over, but there's work to be done. Oh, that call? Yes, uh, that visitor who had the appointment for Monday. Mm. Well, he's changed it to today. Well, I better get ready to show him in. Oh, by the way, will I recognize him? You might. He's very well known. I had met this man before, so I anticipated an interesting day ahead of me. He arrived a few minutes later. I recognized him right away. You'd know him also if I told you who he was. But for now, we'll leave his identity a secret. After a few minutes of greeting and some small talk, I began to tell him about our equipment, about General Electric metal-clad switchgear. And a good way to begin is to see some of its applications. For example, arc furnace service. Because with its frequent switching operations, this is one of the most rugged types of duty to which switchgear can be subjected. Another example of metal clad is found in Albany, New York, at the steam generating station of the Niagara Mohawk Power Corporation. This station is capable of an output of 400,000 kW. Large steam stations of this kind need a reliable auxiliary power system for control of vital auxiliary motors like boiler feed pumps, induced and forced draft fans, because without these auxiliaries, a plant such as this could not operate. Vital motor loads are reliably switched and protected with metal clad. Capacitor units are energized each morning and switched off at night. Hence, capacitor switching is another example of difficult service. But the Magnablast circuit breaker used in metal clad can perform large numbers of repetitive operations. Electric utilities have had durable and neat appearing unit substations in service for over 25 years. Automatic reclosing feeder service may require a breaker to switch a heavy short circuit four times within two minutes. Outdoor metal clad is effectively weatherproofed and gasketed to withstand the elements. About 35% of General Electric metal clad is built for outdoor service. Metal clad plays an important role at a fully automatic 40,000 kVA hydro generating station. It can be automatically started and synchronized from a central control point many miles away, as though it were controlled by a highly trained operator. In the event of short circuits, overspeeding, overheating, or other abnormal conditions, metal clad will shut the equipment down and take it off the line. In industry, metal clad also proves it's universally applicable. With increased industrial electrification, switchgear plays an even more vital role in plant distribution. Electrical bottlenecks to future growth are eliminated. The finest protection is provided, as well as maximum safety and continuity. All power goes through switchgear, and expanding and growing facilities require up-to-date equipment, such as General Electric metal clad. The heart of metal clad is the Magnablast circuit breaker, some typical ratings are 4160 volt 75 MVA light duty and 250 MVA heavy duty. There's also 13,800 volts 500 MVA and 
750 MVA. This last rating was developed to take care of the higher capacities needed in today's larger power system. Each circuit will clear its rating in five cycles or less, fast action that greatly reduces short circuit damage. A magnablast breaker interrupts a circuit by magnetically forcing the arc into interleaving insulated barriers known as arc chutes. Barriers stretch the arc and restrict its cross section. Heat is absorbed by the chute so that electrical resistance is considerably increased. The arc path becomes so long and gases produced by the arc so cooled that the arc cannot re-establish itself and the circuit is open. When a breaker is in the closed position, electric current travels from stud to stud through main contacts. The breaker begins to open as main contacts part, forcing current to the arcing contacts. Current now flows through these contacts and progressively to the blowout coils in sequence. Blowout coils are effective at all but very low values of current. During this opening stroke, a supplementary puffer directs a blast of air across the arcing contacts and into the arc chute. This is effective at very low currents, enabling fast interruption within five cycles or less. Now the circuit is being interrupted. Current is being forced into the arc chute by the combined action of blowout coils and puffer. Finally, the circuit is interrupted. Contacts are fully parted and the arc has been extinguished. If your eyes could see the operation the way a high-speed camera can, you'd quickly agree that the Magnablast circuit breaker does an interrupting job that's both efficient and effective. The assembly area at our switchgear plant is planned for construction of equipment that will give long years of operation and protection. From earliest stages of development, work is done with skill and accuracy. Since male disconnects are least vulnerable to accidental damage, they're mounted on the breaker itself. Inspection is only one of many checking operations that take place in the assembly area. Pushing insulation material is manufactured under controlled conditions, then tested for quality. Arc chutes are installed at a convenient height, making them easy to remove if and when maintenance is ever necessary. But these arc chutes are made of materials that give them effective mechanical strength, including a resistance to thermal and mechanical shock. A milling machine cuts interleaving fins in arc chutes to extend arc length and increase resistance, high electrical resistance, and an ability to withstand thermal shock. Near the final stage of assembly, circuit breaker operation is checked at permissible control voltage limits. Other steps include the high pot test and mechanical inspection. Each breaker is rolled into a master checking fixture. This gauge checks lineup and location of circuit breaker components. Each component check must mate with elements of the stationary metal clad unit. Through such checking and gauging as this, proper fit and interchangeability of circuit breakers is assured. Finally, the breaker is carefully packed and shipped, ready to be rolled into service. In the manufacturing of metal clad switch gear, a welded unit frame is the basic building block. Its frame is designed primarily for spot welding. The first step is in making sub-assemblies and separate welding fixtures are used for each one. To make the final frame, sub-assemblies are combined in a master welding fixture with the top plate and other parts. Female disconnecting devices consist of hard-drawn copper tubing, which is swedged, slotted, and silver plated. Each device is so simple and rugged that no maintenance is required. Consequently, it's mounted in the stationary structure where it's well protected from accidental abuse. Modern erythene insulation tape is used where taping operations are necessary. This new tape is moisture resistant and vastly superior in insulation strength and ease of application. Switchgear equipment is factory wired by expert wiremen using the most modern technique. Quality components, quality assembly, and thorough testing add up to high quality equipment. A breaker checking fixture is rolled into every metal clad compartment. 
another step to guarantee the fit and interchangeability of Magnablast circuit breakers. Metal clad is constructed in a vertical lift design, which means there's a logical arrangement of components offering a maximum amount of accessibility. For example, the main bus is located at the top of the equipment where it's least vulnerable to flooding. And when it's in the connected position, the circuit breaker is completely off the floor. Relays and meters are semi-flush mounted on the door. They're of the draw-out type, permitting easy access for inspection or test. Replacing the relay element is just as easy. Relay and connecting plug must be properly inserted and fully engaged. Otherwise, a safety device prevents the cover from going back on. Now the relay is complete and protection is restored. Potential transformers are mounted on draw-out carriages which roll smoothly in or out, making them completely accessible for inspection or fuse checking. Shutters and interphase barriers are made of self-ex. For maximum protection of personnel, the enclosure is automatically closed off by an insulated shutter. Visible grounding clips ground the fuses in the disconnected position. With its end plate removed, the structural rigidity of metal clad becomes apparent. Basic frames are of all welded steel construction. The insulated main bus is totally enclosed in its own compartment and practically impregnable. It too is protected with self-ex insulation. There is a separate compartment for current transformers with ample space for three transformers per phase. Self-ex is again used to insulate certain areas. Below the bus and current transformer compartments is another separate space that houses the Magnablast circuit breaker. When in an operating position, the breaker is completely off the floor. A jack screw on each side of the breaker raises and lowers it with drive supplied by a gear motor. An interlocking device provides protection while this raising or lowering takes place. In order to raise the breaker and put it in operation, it's rolled into the compartment. One man can do this easily. A snap-in gear motor will raise the breaker to its operating position. Here's a special safety point. The breaker must be fully inserted and in the open position. If a breaker should happen to be closed, then it will be impossible to mistakenly raise it. The positive interlock prevents the gear motor from operating. The operator is forced to trip the breaker before it can be inserted in the circuit. The vertical lift design of metal clad enables a Magnablast breaker to be disconnected quickly and safely. A motor-driven elevating mechanism raises and lowers the breaker with negligible effort on the part of the operator. As the breaker disconnects, stationary high voltage parts are automatically barriered off by a shutter operating arm that does not rely on gravity. The operator can actually see the circuit breaker disconnect from the high voltage circuit. Simple, rugged female disconnects remain protected in the stationary structure and are never exposed to accidental damage. Metal clad switchgear is built to give long years of service. But if and when maintenance is necessary, the job will be easy and can be handled by one man. While the breaker is being removed, its low center of gravity eliminates the hazard of tip over. Sliding off the light box barrier exposes both main contacts and the movable arcing contact for inspection. The box barrier is a protective cover that prevents foreign material from falling into the arc chutes. This inspection will usually suffice but by loosening three bolts, individual arc chutes can be removed. It's now possible to examine other parts, both stationary and movable arcing contacts. And the puffer. This has a Teflon piston which requires no lubrication.
Removal of the mechanism cover will expose the remainder of the breaker. The cover acts as a protection against foreign material. Self-ex insulation is used extensively in the entire unit. Adjusting main contact gaps is a simple job. The main contact gap can be measured and further adjustment is then possible. The operating mechanism is conveniently mounted on the breaker frame. Inspection is not complicated and the solenoid bearing can be lubricated in a short period of time. An inspection and routine maintenance operation takes the breaker out of service for only 20 minutes. If necessary, a spare breaker can be inserted during this period, which would further reduce circuit outage time to less than two minutes. During my explanation, I had mentioned self-ex insulation a few times. All vital switchgear parts are protected by it. I decided to tell my visitor more about the self-ex story. I showed him a sample of self-ex, which is our name for a self-extinguishing flame retardant insulation. In order to test it, we've made up little cones. Some of the men refer to them as teepees. In a special testing area, electrodes give us a high current arc. First, we expose ordinary insulation to an arc for a period of 10 seconds. Then, the arc is removed. Now we conduct the same test with self-ex insulation. After a 10 second exposure to a high current arc, self-ex with its built-in fire extinguisher is able to quench a fire in just 31 seconds. The material has been subjected to quite an ordeal, but it's retained most of its positive mechanical strength. Proof that recently improved self-ex insulation provides users of metal-clad switchgear with maximum fire protection. From the testing of self-ex, we turn to a checklist of some of the benefits derived from metal clad. The first point was safety. Metal Clad's all-steel enclosure helps protect personnel from coming in contact with live electrical equipment or parts. The designs have been proven by test and field experience. Safety interlocking features prevent a breaker from being raised or lowered unless it's in the open position. A key point is that all vital parts are protected with Self-Ex, the insulation that has proved itself and provides maximum fire protection. The next point was easy maintenance. This equipment is built to last, to offer many years of effective service. But if and when maintenance is necessary, the job is easy. And as far as the Magnablast breaker is concerned, one man can do it. Another point was easy installation. Compact design saves valuable space and makes metal clad easy to install. Our switch gear is delivered in as large sections as shipping limitations will permit. Impact tests have shown that the all-welded steel construction of metal clad helps it to withstand the jolts of cross-country travel. Sections are completely pre-assembled with interconnections made and control devices in place and wired. After the sections are installed, the adequate space provided makes it easy to install incoming and outgoing cables. Equipment is completely wired at the factory. Wiring is brought out to convenient terminal boards. Provision is made in advance for all the purchaser's connections. I had also included a point on service. With each unit, a customer gets our standard written warranty, and metal clad is warranted as a complete unit. Long after the equipment is installed in the field, General Electric services will be readily available for reconditioning, expanding, and modernization. 
A highly dependable supply of renewal parts are always available, so the continuity of highly reliable General Electric service will not be broken. The final point listed was rugged duty. Metal Glad leaves the plant ready to exceed the most rugged duty requirements. We ship it with confidence. General Electric metal clad switch gear, whether it's outdoor or indoor, will economically handle the great majority of switching problems in the medium voltage range. It will do an effective job wherever it may be placed in operation. When we had finished the checklist, I decided to end the meeting by telling my visitor about the way we test metal clad. About a mile from the factory is our new switchgear development laboratory. It's here that we test the adequacy of switchgear under actual severe short circuit conditions. It's the highest capacity lab of its kind, but with this type of equipment, performance must be proven by test. We call it our multi-million dollar fact finder. In order to test a magnablast breaker, it's placed in a test cell and enclosed in the same kind of metal clad unit that will normally be used in field service. The breaker is closed, ready for the test. At a signal, the breaker will switch a short circuit of 250,000 kVA at 13,800 volts. The modern Magnablast circuit breaker has been tested to its full capacity. The breaker is still in excellent shape, ready for continuing service. By way of comparison, what about an older oil circuit breaker? In its day, this breaker had offered many years of good service. But can it handle the capacities that are found in today's power systems? Rated 90,000 kVA at 13,800 volts, it will be tested at 180,000 kVA. meeting was finished. We exchanged a few closing remarks and my visitor left. A couple of weeks later, his company invested in more new metal clad switch gear. Well, that's my story, except for one point. Perhaps I should tell you who my visitor was. You see, he was a man whom I... Pardon me. Hello? Yes, Tom. Really? When? Well, I'll have to check my schedule. No, I'm going to be tied up in a design review meeting on a new development project. Yes, Tuesday will be okay. And Wednesday's still. Okay.